You reckon vaccinations are saving us? Absolutely. At my age, I need it. Something like you may not. You're a Yes, the dreaded AVs have come out from the dirt and grime that is the internet and sprouted among the lands to infest it with their disgusting lack of common sense. Now, there is a lot to bring up in this situation in this uh, good old hometown of Canberra, the good old ACT. And it's just dawned on me how terribly dry and barren this place looks. Hey, can you tell which is the Parliament House? give you a clue. It's inspired by hobbits. Seriously, how does this not make us look like a desolate country? Not to mention the state there looks like a bloody appendix, which needs to be removed. I mean, look, to be honest, it relates to an appendix well, and the fact that nothing there gets done. Well, except for the fact that weed's legal. Yeah, the only state where weed's legal in Australia just happens to be the state where all the politicians work. Oh, <laughs> what a coincidence. It's basically where our Washington DC is, for those unaware with outer world geometry. Ge geography. Nailed it. Essentially, much through the inspiration of uh, Canada's little convoy, Australians are trying it out too. And now, of course, uh, the numbers are growing. They are very confident with this march making a drastic stand and uh, change to the parliamentary privileges that enable mandates to happen with the vaccines. A projected one million is being told to turn up uh, throughout this weekend. I'm currently filming this on Sunday night, just before Valentini's day. And uh, let's just look at the images again. That's... Mm? Yes. Oof. Not exactly a million. The projected one million is expected to lay stand in the campgrounds near the uh, Parliament House as they march for freedom. I think it's freedom. Or is it baptism? Uh, Christians? For Christians? No. For Nazis? No. It's for Aboriginals? No. There's like five different... Uh, tribes in their group. Again, I gotta save this for a whole bigger video. Point is, a city slash state of a population of 300,000. Actually 430,000, you dumb stupid fat. According to my math, that is just a little bit less than a million. So I'm not sure if a million could really, you know, you're essentially doubling at least the current population. Not, not sure, sure it's, it's actually possible, possible to accommodate that many people. At least you'd notice it a bit better. Anyway, understandably through the uh, constant protesting and abuse towards local businesses, the locals aren't happy. You have people on Reddit are ironically giving the same statements these kind of people are normally habitually giving out to foreigners. Given the political leanings of the cookers, I think go back where you came from is a sentiment they would understand. Unfortunately not, because despite being told that they have a book fair that is needing to be placed in these uh, showgrounds that they are currently occupying, basically they need to vacate by this weekend, and if they don't, the popos are coming for them. It's, it's honestly, it's an amazing little Schmidt show. Uh, there's literally no organization whatsoever. It's just been a case of someone shouting out on their Facebook invites, Hey, got a party going on! left the invite open for everyone, and everyone's turned up. And now they're like, oh, yeah, we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna change the world, freedom. How do we do that? I know, we can do that through merchandising. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I noticed these are actually technically about Canada. That's because the Facebook groups for Australia's Convoy to Canberra, are <laughs> they're selling Canada-based <laughs> merchandise. Logic, what? Who needs it? Anyway, as discussed, locals, not happy to deal with all this. Uh, one case where they went over to protest, and uh, I think this kind of says it all. Showing up to the National Press Club where Grace Tame and Brittany Higgins have been speaking about schmectral assault is next level ignorant and shows the true amount of ego these flogs have to try and take away from these brave women's moment with this utter nonsense. Yeah, more backstory. Uh, these people uh, relate to an issue happening in our parliament at the moment where uh, they were silenced before the last election for the fact that they were going to expose that the current now in leadership party, uh, you know, were committing a lot of sexual assault. Politicians. Freaking love them. But yeah, just more problems for the locals to deal with. Uh, Canberra rallies around King O'Malley's after unmasked anti-vaccination mandate protesters target pub with negative reviews. Essentially, they weren't allowed to come in because they didn't have masks on, they didn't have proof of vaccination, and so they just spammed the place of one-star reviews and just a lot of rude words. Now, you're thinking to yourself, well, okay, they're being absolute a-holes to the locals. Ah, uh, they're defecating in parks, as I've been uh, reading up. Just leaving an absolute mess of the place, you know, really disrespecting the people who live there. All in the name of free dom. 
Don't know who Dom is, but uh, he sounds like he's innocent. It's getting so uncomfortable for the locals that they're resorting to this kind of language. I think it's bloody ridiculous. No common sense at all. I mean, what's vaccinations the only thing saving the population? You reckon vaccinations are saving us? Absolutely. At my age, I need it. Something like you may not. You're a I'm a what? You're a Oh, all right. Thank you for that kind uh, word. You might want to put your mask on again. So understandably, that man's been hailed as a local hero. <laughs> he went from like zero to 100, just BAM! It's laying down all the Aussie uh, slang and not in the nice way. Unfortunately for the locals, they seem to not care. To them, this freedom movement is everything. They, a uh, few of them, quite a lot of them have lost their jobs because of this. They've taken two weeks off for no real valid reason other than to protest something in an entirely different state. So understandably, their bosses are like, okay, bye bye forever. But to quote the notorious Shakespeare, don't feed the trolls, dance the night away with your own dance party. While well, they dance to the Macarena. That's muted for copyright reasons, understandably. But I will play this golden nugget. YouTube, please do not demonetize me over this. It is beautiful. Love the skates. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot. Of, apparently, nearly everyone did. Now, don't worry. I managed to get this translated. Love the skates. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot. Of, apparently, nearly everyone did. And hey, why not awkwardly attempt to flirt with some of the yoga girls there while you're at it? Oh, you skate? Yeah, I used to skate. Oh, yeah. Anyway, could I sleep with you? Can you? Could you hear the little like ping in her voice that was like, oh god, another creepy man's approaching me. Now you've got a lot of instances too where people have sort of uh, jumped onto the Facebook groups and trolled the hell out of them. Very great trolls, by the way. Mwah, chef's, chef's kiss. kiss. But this is where it becomes a case of at what point does the seesaw of disrespect swing the other way? Does seesaw swing? Do they bounce? Because a swing swings, but that's a seesaw. It seesaws the other way. That's why we call them seesaws. <gasps> Enter this lovely human. Name's Blurt. Hopefully I remember to in the edit. Here we have Green Shirt McGee. Taking a photo of what seems to be someone learning how to play GTA 5 for the first time. Parked my car in an anti-vaxxer. Okay, what happened there? <laughs> Freedom. Yeah, getting into a bit of car troubles with uh, what seems to be your worst enemy. Now you must be curious, how did such an event play out? Well, let me show you. We start out with her kind of trying to register the license plate there, get a record of it in case she tries to drive away. Flipping. Bogus. Promiscuous female. Get the flipping. Get a camera. Go get a job. And um, find something better to do with your flipping. You done? What have you done? Can I? Yes, yeah, so I don't know if you can tell yet, but the um, the locals aren't happy with them being around. Just, just a hunch. Please Please have your me. license. Honey, you just reversed into me. I have a um, camera. Sorry, we're at a traffic light, yeah, and you. Can you Whatever you want, sweetheart, the media doesn't care about you. Now, she alleges that apparently the AV reversed into her at a green light. And okay, if that's the case, why are you trying to drive away? Why are you trying to escape the scene? Surely you'd want to stay there to get their details. Why are you staying in your car to, you know, try and get out of there ASAP? I know you like to think you're smarter than an AV, but, um, kind of doing the opposite there. I'm not talking to the media. But okay, she's driving away, getting out of there, ready to leave. Nope, never mind. Nope, shit, nope. What are you looking for? Don't you worry. What are you looking for? Oh, oh, did you see that? that? Mania. And so right there was the AV's mistake. I don't know about you, but looking at this person, watching them perform on the video, they're on something. Or they're just getting withdrawals from something. Now, what would you do in this situation? Let's say, let's assume that she did accidentally rear-end this car, and she is just trying to flee the scene. But yes, turns out they're people that you politically do not align with at all. Yeah, yeah. So get, the, get a camera, because there are a lot of us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, Emma. I'm so sorry. You fuck. Flipping. Idiot. You are. Can you better call the police? Are you trying to shut him up? Just drive.
<laughs> Gotta love the nut job's attempt here to salvage the situation and try to keep cool about it all. Oh yeah, how's that? Yeah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> Lady, what the hell are you doing? For one, dear God, do you not deserve to be having a license anymore? Uh, even under that case too, you are just an abusive person. It's one thing to despise someone's political leanings because of how dangerous it is to the country's health, not to mention the physical assault that happens here. I mean, you can argue she was trying to grab for the phone, but no, that was physical assault. To just constantly spout rudeness towards them, like, you're leaving. You're getting out of there. They're not agitating you to come on back. And even if they were, that's on you if you are weak enough to be lured back in. I don't know. I think we just need to kind of understand that there becomes a point where it's just too far. Did she maybe purposely drive onto their car? Which <laughs> Was she just so financially well off that she could just ride off a car and be like, oh, well, I'll just put in the cheat code to respawn another one. It's too much. I, I plan to make a great essay video about this whole shindig. There's a, man, there's a lot of great things about this Convo to Canberra. Leadership spill. Uh, just distrust among the, all the groups, theft, terrible lack of organization, pooping in people's cars, people carrying guns, fundraisers being frozen and removed. It's just, it's a, it's a beautiful little treasure to explore. For another time though, I just think this event here, this is the tipping point where it becomes a case of like, okay, again, one thing to hate their behavior and to stand up against it. Like if they're trashing your property, okay, you have a right to defend yourself in that situation, but there was no need for you to drive over to their car. There was no need for that crash. It is so weird for me to say this and how dare you cause this upon me, but I feel extremely sorry for those two women who's had their car destroyed. Those AVs, I feel sorry for them now. I'm I'm going to start feeling a lot more sympathetic towards their whole group as a whole now. Anyway, that's it. That's me for today. Uh, I just wanted to kind of share this. I think it kind of needs to be talked about and acknowledged uh, when it comes to just uh, social divide, political divide and things. Um, when a political group is harassing you, okay, Hey, yeah, you can tell them to flip off. Understandable. But this was a straight up degree of almost bullying more than it was about, uh, you know, having a aggressive debate about things you're both divided yeah. on. All I ask is that we uh, don't be that kind of person. Control yourself and um, get off the drugs. <laughs> Bye.